Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we'll be learning how to edit a map imported from a PDF. Let's get started. For that, let me show you the PDF that I'm working with in today's class. So this is the PDF and this is the map of Uttar Pradesh Administrative Divisions 2011. So what I'll be doing is I'll be taking this map, I'll be changing the colors and I'll be introducing the, uh, the colors to the subdivisions. For example, this is a division, Saharanpur is a division and in that we have six subdivisions that we call as Thasils and uh, how to give it a new color exactly within the boundaries we'll be learning those things so let's get started first of all we go into this coral raw and we need to click on control i control i is the shortcut to import a document a pdf an, an image or anything from outside other folders so i have the uh, this document in downloads i'm going into the download and selecting the document and clicking on import after clicking on import this will ask me whether to import the text that is the Saharanpur, the Bahat, Nakur and all the text in the format of text so that I can edit it I can change the spellings I can correct it or in the form of curves which will convert the text into an object and that object will get imported and there are many other options which we did not get into so after selecting the curves because i don't want to edit the text there that's why i'm selecting the curves and i'm clicking on ok and it'll ask me where to put this anywhere on the screen i can click and you'll see that the pdf is imported and after importing the pdf we need to check whether it is grouped or ungrouped so how to check that if i click and try to move one element that one element is moving right which is indicating that this is not grouped right so how will the group look like let me group it for you so when I'm trying to move one element all the elements are moving right so this is because all the elements are grouped so to ungroup it the simple trick is clicking on Control U that's it which will ungroup all the elements that's it I, uh, I have removed the outer layer and let's get into the topic yeah we should first check how this is made whether it is a closed boundary or different different lines or any other format for that let me click on it and drag it as you can see this is made by connecting the lines and filling in between the lines the same technique will apply in today's class that is click on the line the outlines select all the outlines in which you want to fill the color and check whether all the outlines are selected which there should be uh, no gap in between and let me select even this line and you can see now that a closed loop is selected and when there is a closed loop I can make outline over it over it in the sense I can create a boundary around this line exactly and for that here we have an option called create boundary let me click over it and you can see that it has created me a boundary of a single element in which I can fill the color that's it right I can change the color without moving it but what happened here is this layer is made upon all the other layers due to which the text and all got behind that layer how to make the text visible the simple is click on shift and page down what shift and page down did this made the layer the colored layer that we made just now go beyond all the layers shift is going either full down or coming full up that is shift page down is going totally down and shift page up is bringing it totally up to the topmost or the bottom most layers whereas 
the control page up and page down is making it go one layer at a time that is if i hold the control key and click on page up that layer is coming one layer above and if i say, uh, if i again click on control page up again and again again and again this is making that layer come above one layer uh, come above by one layer so whereas if i click on control and page down this is making that layer go beyond go below one layer at a time where a shift page down it is making that layer go at the bottom most layer and shift page up is making that layer come at the top most layer i'll click on shift and page down to make that layer go beyond all the layers again i'll click uh, hold the control key and click on page up until it comes above the colored layer the light light colored layer and here we go we have colored the layer I can even use the smart fill tool. The problem with the smart fill tool is that if I use this smart fill tool, I need to have a closed boundary. Let me tell you, if I want, if I, uh, let me give an example, if I want this to be filled using this smart fill tool, because this is a closed boundary, I can click inside it and this gets filled very easily if i don't have let's assume i want to fill this and i have a line here see i'm taking it very near see i have taken it very near and by this i can assume that this line is touching the rectangle if i want to fill only this part or only this part let us see is it possible or not see it's not possible why it is because this line is should meet the edge of this rectangle or the line or it should go beyond this line to separate this with this region so after uh, making it extended let me click on this side and this side as you can see both the sides are separately filled now whereas in the case of these uh, lined objects here you can see if i select any line and uh, select the shape tool you'll see that if the one or uh, one line even one line is not meeting then the coral draw will get stuck thinking where to end this so it's better to not use this shape fill tool here if at all if you are using it just select the line and select the shape fill tool and make it come beyond another line so that it has a clear edged line and it is easy for coral raw to evaluate the region in which uh, in which it should fill and we can give it a different color we can change the colors and if i want this whole color to be changed i can change it i can delete it i can easily add the same color by using the same technique that is select all the uh, select the outline see and we should make sure that all the lines are selected see one line is not selected let me select even that line and yeah one more line is not selected this line yeah now all the lines are selected and a closed loop can be made so after selecting it let me go back here yeah, after selecting it we need to again click on this create boundary icon this is creating me a boundary over the lines exactly and here i can change the color of it easily see here one line i missed out and hence it's not working right what i need to do is i need to select even that and again create a boundary now i can fill it easily 
because this layer is made after all the layers are made this comes above all the layer so what I should do is I should shift page down this to make this go beyond all the layers and I can change the color there and that's all for today's video stay tuned for next videos Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh